Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next war recap video. And this one was against Michigan State. Uh, wasn't the closest war. They definitely struggle with our top bases. Uh, a lot of the Town Hall 9s also left two starred. We didn't have a cleanest war either. You can see, didn't get any stars in that 11. Only one star on that. Not a whole lot of high level. Uh, three stars, a few dips. But besides that, uh, what weren't doing a whole lot at the top level, which is understandable kind of during the week and uh, it happens but i would i guess we would have liked to have a little bit of a better war although we did clean up all the bases down low so that was good um we're going to take a look at a few attacks from this war as it is a war recap video and i'm also going to talk about an announcement as far as recruitment goes uh for the genesis alpha trinity family so as we talk about that we'll take a look at this attack using the new witches by the way and I've seen stuff with like Pekka's witches at Town Hall 11. I think it, you know, the witches might have some potential, maybe not in the huge numbers that we used to see uh, right when Town Hall 11 came out, just because um, the skeletons don't trigger those bombs anymore. But the warden's ability is powerful, and I think that witches might be able to make a little bit of a comeback at Town Hall 11 at least, if not uh, Town Hall 10, maybe even Town Hall 9. So anyway, uh, as I was saying, I do have to talk a little bit about um, recruitment in Genesis. And basically, here's the thing. I've been talking to some of the leaders lately, and we need some more Town Hall 10s. And the reason for that is that, first of all, a number of our Town Hall 10s have moved up to Town Hall 11. So we, therefore, we have less Town Hall 10s uh, than we did maybe a few months ago. In addition, we are in a new kind of league, I guess you could call it. I wouldn't call it a tournament. I call it a league where we're facing off uh, each weekend against different high-level war clans. Basically, just arranged wars, but it's a more organized system where there's 32 clans involved. We keep tracks of the wins, of the losses. I'm not sure if we're going to do an end-of-the-season tournament or what's going to come of the records, but we are keeping track of wins and losses and stuff uh, of each clan. So... Because of that, there needs to be a very um, regulated roster, I guess you could say, and we need to have nine Town Hall 10s for each war. Now, we do have you know more than nine Town Hall 10s in our clan family. The only issue is that people opt out sometimes for different stuff going on in their lives. I've opted out a number of times for... Um, different stuff I've had on the weekends. So because of that, uh, we're looking for more Town Hall 10s who could possibly even take uh, take part in some of these wars. We're looking to move those Town Hall 10s through the recruitment uh, process quickly. So a lot of time you have to go through, you know, uh, your tryouts and uh, go to, you know, Alpha maybe for some wars if you're going to Genesis ultimately, if you're like a high level Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 player. But um we're looking to kind of expedite people through a little quicker just because we need those uh, Town Hall 10 accounts to kind of familiarize themselves with Genesis. And uh, if they have the skills, that is, uh, we can get them through the tryout process a lot quicker. So if you are a Town Hall 10, uh, I would highly recommend that if you've been looking for a clan, uh, you throw an application our way. Uh, the links are always in the description of every video to apply to our family. And I would just mention this video in your uh, in your application somewhere, just so people know where you're coming from. But yeah, we're definitely looking for Town Hall 10s. We need to uh, probably get a few more Town Hall 10s on the roster just to have some more comfort uh, room in the uh, in the wars we're going to be ha uh, having over the next few weekends, which should go on for a while. And uh, that's going to produce some great content, to be honest. Those wars uh, that we're going to be having because it's you know, all this, all these top clans that are doing it, uh, there's 32 clans total. So every week, pretty much we're going against a different high level war clan. Uh, the stakes are higher because we, you know, we're keeping track of this. It's, it's not just for, uh, pride. It's also for the, uh, the record on the, uh, in the league, I guess you can call it. So stakes are even higher. Should be a lot of fun, a lot of great coverage of it. I believe we're using the friendly challenge uh, or the friendly war system, so we might kind of mess around with the prep day. I know that the prep day for this weekend's arranged war, which I should be in, is only going to be four hours, and then the battle day will be the full uh, 24 hours. So that should be cool. Uh, a shorter prep day makes it a little bit easier to uh, to get the war organized and stuff. So yeah, um, if you are a Town Hall 10, I guess that's what I was 
uh, kind of went off on a tangent. But if you are a Town Hall 10 uh, and you're interested in applying, definitely do so. Now is a great time. We should be able to get you through the tryout process very quickly if you have kind of the necessary skills, which I find a lot of people do who end up watching my videos uh, through osmosis one way or the other. Anyway, um, getting back to the attacks, though, from this war, uh, this one's just being cleaned up by Ali doing a, I think that was a, um, a Laloon with like a, uh, go, a Gobo Laloon. So nice stuff there. Uh, take a look at, I think we have two or three more to look at today. Um, this next one was a hog attack by Sicaro. And if I try to remember this one, it's been a few hours since I chose these attacks actually. Um, so drops down a few funneling troops. Go ahead and fast forward. Um, here comes a few golems. Just looking to get into the base here, and really, we're seeing people bring more hogs. I mean, that's no surprise. Even even though I was saying the hog buff isn't going to be as serious as some people are saying, you know, I still was pretty aware this would happen. That we'd have these kind of uh, these kind of uses of hogs with 20, 25 hogs. And one thing I like is, you know, he's not being careless. He's dropping in those hogs on distracted defenses, which is kind of a lost art to many people. If you can drop down a golem and it's tanking for a few defenses and no defenses are covering those defenses, you can drop a few hogs down and do kind of one-for-one -one trades on those defenses that cleared out the entire far right compartment at three o'clock, allowed him to wall breaker uh, into the next compartment at kind of like four or five o'clock-ish area Area, where his troops are right now uh, drops the jump down nothing's flanking them so the golems the king are doing all the tanking while the queen and the bowlers sit back already bit off a big piece of this base here come the hogs you can be a little bit more bold in the deployment because the double giant bombs aren't as a big of a threat but as I've said in the past we're probably gonna see some base building changes which I will definitely cover on the channel. Um, I'm looking forward to building a Town Hall 9 base to defend against these hogs and maybe do some friendly challenges to see how it works. So be looking forward to that if you're a Town Hall 9 for sure. That's kind of on my priorities of what I want to, to make videos on. But anyway, this was a nice attack by Sicaro. In no way a spam attack. Very well thought out. Great opener. Uh, set things up well. Then good hog deployment uh, throughout the base. So we'll go ahead and fast forward. A uh, ton of troops left up, awesome attack, king, queen, bowlers, hogs, even some golems left up. So good stuff there. Two more attacks to look at. We have, uh, what is this, 16, rich. Uh, this was this was a good uh, example of how to make use of a hole in the base. There was a, a gap right by that town hall in the clan castle. Just drops in a few barbarians. Uh, sometimes you want to drop in multiple at a time because they die so quickly. But just dropping them in one at a time worked fine there. Uh, lured out all these minions. And then what he does right here is he waits for the queen to hop the wall, I believe. And just drops the king right on her head. Pops the ability right away, which is what you want to do. So right here, king goes down. That ability, you want to get that going as soon as possible to get that extra damage out uh, before the king dies. So the queen's down. Uh, the CC troops are down just for the price of his hero basically then goes ahead and does the zap quake on that air defense i've actually i'm aware i've seen people doing the uh skeleton spells to take out air defenses i'll probably make a video on that eventually but it's not the most reliable thing i i think other youtubers have covered it as well but it's not the most reliable way to take out uh, an air defense the zap quake is much more reliable but that being said instead of five spell space you can do it for you know two or three usually and sometimes one but if you're getting one the base layout must suck um, so we're probably going to see people put splash damage by their air defenses. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll probably find out pretty quickly. Uh, but basically the idea is sometimes people put a skeleton spell, drop it directly on the air defense. And if there's no splash damage, the skeletons that spawn can take out that air defense. Works sometimes. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to talk about it in a later video, along with all the other update stuff, like the base building changes I, I mentioned uh, a lot to discuss from this update that's still being figured out by the players. So nice attack to Rich, good balloon deployment. <clears throat> Already had a leg up on the base because of the cheap CC kill and the queen kill. And uh, just crushed it. Nice attack. We'll go ahead and take a look at one more. Uh, we're down all the way at number 25. Um, back out here. And here we go. 25. Fozzy. Um with a dragon attack and this base only has three air defenses just realized that did i write down the wrong number yeah it was 23 i was thinking that was kind of a 
didn't plan on showing that. Um, poor self-control. This is the attack we're talking about. I'm going to show some more hogs for you guys because they are what we're seeing for the most part along with air attacks. Um, at Town Hall 9, really, there's a lot of different compositions. You can still use the Valk, uh, Pekka, Healer composition. There's just a lot of options. The hogs are now more popular than they were before the update. But yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do. And I think it would be nice to see a, a defensive nerf or defensive buff that is to Town Hall 9, something. But, you know, we'll see when people upgrade their that new bomb tower. Maybe it'll make a, a bigger difference than uh, than we're seeing right now. But should be interesting to see. We'll talk about it later, like I said. Anyway, though, coming in with the kill squad, he's going to get great value because of how compact this base is. That jump spell is going to allow his bowlers to access pretty much all the possible double giant bomb locations. Uh, now, if a double giant bomb set can't kill a full health hog, but if that hog has taken even one shot from a wizard tower, uh, it's not going to survive through that that double giant bomb set. So they're still very important to neutralize if they do exist inside the base. Uh, this was a compact base, so the golems did all the tanking. The pathing was really predictable, and uh, you'll see right here the air defense is going to go down, which is right next to a double giant bomb set that might have roasted his hogs. To be honest, uh, if that heal spell was placed on it, it might not have. But right here. Um, you'll, you'll see one hog actually does trigger it or something uh, as it jumps into that compartment or the bowlers trigger it. There's a double giant bomb set, which was set up pretty nicely, actually, uh, considering this base wasn't the best in general. So kind of dodged a bullet, but did it, uh, in almost a planned way by having the bowlers in the middle of the base, able to neutralize those locations. A uh, good example of how to use the, uh, stoned goho attack, a uh, nice attack to poor self-control ton of hogs left up. That's usually what you see if you did it right. And uh, still the queen, a lot of the kill squad left up as well. So nice attack. Um, hope you guys like the recap. Not the most to show, especially uh, didn't have as many uh, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 attacks really. So I will do my best to cover those. But that's pretty much all I had. Only war I could draw from. And I uh, thought it was time for a war recap just to show a variety of attacks. And also announce to you guys the, t the uh, recruitment uh, update. So if you are interested, be sure to apply. Um, any Town Hall level really, but especially Town Hall 10s right now is what we're looking for. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.